go. What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going down in the life of a Virgo for the month of September? Hmm? Hmm? Did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. Happy birthday. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Hey, boo head, this is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. So, if cousin doesn't work for you, write down now. Please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. They gifted, y'all. They gifted, all right? You guys, um, to the returning family, hey, y'all. Hey, family, wish popping. Are y'all cutting the fuck up for your birthday? Hmm? Hmm? You better be. Shit, it's Virgo season. Y'all know how long I've been hearing about Virgo season? Because y'all love to tell my Aryan ass about Virgo season. It's a bunch of y'all in my life, okay? So that said, you guys, I love you all. And I pray that your birthday is, brings in prosperity, abundance, healing, fulfillment, and happiness. And I pray that this all reaches you all with love, okay? Um, sorry, you guys, to kind of push you back a little bit. I've been getting ready for a wedding. I will actually be on vacation slash my sister's wedding. And I've been having to uh, go to parties and bar mitzvahs and all kind of interesting stuff. And I love it, you know. And so because of that, y'all, Mocha's been busy. Thank you. Shout out to everybody who's gotten a personal reading, y'all. Y'all been keeping it going without this and your support. I couldn't keep it going. Thank you from the most humblest space. Thank y'all. Also, um, to the new subscribers, hey, hey, we're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do love, grow, laugh, cuss, share, enlighten, positive vibes only over here. My intention was to go live for everybody, but the way my time set up and around the ways that I'm doing this in YouTube's interesting shit that they upgrading with all these plans and trial this and trial that, but it's fucking up on the technical side. I digress. So I still have to get y'all y'all videos, matters not. So let's get it, okay? This will be for the Summer Rise events as well as the Cross Watchers for the Sign of Bird. Go, my cousins, okay? Also, um, if it y'all just take what resonates, you know, leave the rest. I shouldn't have to say that shit, but I be having to say that shit. Flip it around if you're a cross watcher. Don't point the fingers in the don't do that. That's it. You know your life, okay? And because you know your life, you know how it go. Take it high flow, okay? And flip that shit around, twist it, turn it. You a Virgo shit. However you think it's going to go, it's going to go that way anyway because you ain't going to say you're wrong. You'd rather die first. Huh. How about that? So, let's get it, cousins, all right? First and foremost, because <clears throat> I don't ever prepare no birthday songs. Music is just in my soul. In my soul, music is in my soul. In my soul, music is in my happy birthday, cousin. Happy birthday to you. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, cousin. Happy birthday to you. Hey, hey, hope you turn up for your birthday. Hope you get everything you want. You deserve it on your birthday. This your fucking birthday song. Happy birthday, cousin. Happy, happy, happy birthday, cousin. Yeah, yeah, hope you have everything your way. You do that every day, though. Hope you turn up, turn up, turn up, cause you have it your way. So, happy birthday, cousin, you the shit. Happy birthday, cousin, 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 you the shit. Hey, turn up for a day, turn up for a Virgo. How about that? Happy birthday, cousin. Let's get it. So we're going to start right into it with your intuitive messages for the month. If you guys didn't want to hear my spiel and my shit because I love you so much, just keep it going. Also, if you need a personal reading, y'all go ahead and get me in because I am going to be cutting readings off um, after September the 19th. I leave that day. I go to Mexico. So I'll be gone for an entire week. <laughs> and with that, um, you guys... If you want to read it, get your shit in. Y'all know if you ever got a reading before, you do an emergency, it's going to be the same day. If it's not an emergency, y'all stay tuned with the community tab as well as follow me on Instagram at, at mocha underscore love underscore tarot because y'all be going over there with the weekly tea. 
Okay, so let's get it. For Virgo, for the month of September, you guys, I got perception, surrender, health improvements, sudden wealth, lack mindset, releasing, focused intentions, detoxify, evil eye, need to control, harvest, disappointment, change of diet, acceptance, compromise, insecurities in self, and I also got external, okay? So this could be someone around you giving you the blues because they insecure with their damn self. You guys got new love, self-worth, envy, okay? Whew, let it go. Cousin, let's talk about it, okay? Overall energy around the reading, I got the Jack of Spades, okay? I mean, Jack of Clubs, sorry. And the Queen of Rods, okay? So for some of you all, this is about you guys releasing a situation that is extremely burdensome in order to um, allow a new situation in your life. But because you guys did not plan this newness and coming into your world, I feel like there's this unexpected energy. And it's putting these guys in this space of not knowing what to do. I'm here and don't become a slave to your loyalty, okay? I also got um, one, two, for y'all, five damn signs. Uh, that came out that could be very uh, significant to the month of September for you, as well as the lessons to be learned and uh, things needing to be released during this time, okay? We're going to see how it resonates. We're going to start with your angel messages, you guys. The first one you got was prosperity. I love this card. This is my favorite card, okay? One of them in this particular deck. And for those of you who are going to ask, well, mother, what deck is that? It's the Archangel's Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? This box. I got tired of them damn romance angels. I know y'all be one to say it because y'all nice, okay? But I got Aries, Pisces, Libra, and Gemini up in here. I'm going to just say that shit, okay? Let's get it. Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality, okay? So for some of you all, this is about you actually taking a leap of faith and starting that damn business and making a damn decision to leave that damn job, wash your hands, don't worry about the things in which you cannot see, but trust in everything you can because you got prosperity coming. This is a flow that's being created. Abundance for those of you who have been manifesting money, baby, come through now. Harmony is in this place. For some of you all, I do feel some active energy around the solar plexus. Some of you all, there's going to be this energy of momentum, movement. So if things have been stagnant or things have been feeling as if they just moving like this in slow fucking motion, she gonna take off, okay? Take off like that. This is gonna be Virgo all month. Take like the like the running man. Take off. Alright. <clears throat> Next angel message you guys got was remember who you are. Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. You are very loved, okay? So for some of you all, this could also be, uh, some of y'all also may be having dreams, or some of you all may be actually having encounters with your, uh, with, with various archangels, okay? For some of you all, this could also be having to do with light being shed on a particular situation. There's a need for you all to focus on what it is, only focus on what it is that you're trying to grow. All the outside noise, outside perception of other people and the shit that they got to say about what you're doing, does it really matter? Because can you buy shit with it and what does it really bring value or worth or growth to in your life? If it, you can't answer now one of them questions and you got to sit back like, hmm, you're right. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. All right. But speak your truth. Remember who the fuck you are. You a child of God. Allow that vessel. Respect your inner goddess. Respect your inner God. You know what? Believe that shit and, and, and show and prove. You don't got to tell a motherfucker nothing. They going to see when it's prosperity get the wrong man. And, uh, 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 where you, uh, where you, where your ass was at when I was in, mm, where you at? Where were you when all the dogs needed help? Lord, yeah, listen. Where your ass was at when they recorded in the bathroom? Where you at? I think then it's like a classroom, okay? If I don't know the words, y'all, I'm going to keep that melody going. I bet you that. My like my choir teacher told me la 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 my way out the fuck like so you gotta just keep just keep the melody okay that's all I don't know the words but that's funny because I just uh, 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 I felt I felt the bar where your ass was at Virgo you asking people where your ass was at remember who you are understand and embrace the struggle embrace where you've been because it was only a build up and elevation <laughs> and a step to actually get you ready and prepare for your growth. The beautiful to come. Y'all, this is beautiful. This is such abundant energy you guys have for your birthday season. The whole turnaround when the sun and Virgo shit's going down. Hey, y'all better play them lottery tickets. I don't know who the hell been playing lottery tickets, baby, but you're going to catch a good break. Hmm. 
Some of you all also may be finding out about some type of um, inheritance from a mother or a grandmother. And I feel like it's going to come at a time when you really needed it. For some of you all, I'm here in the third week and it's coming unexpectedly. But I feel like it's coming from a space. You may be also having a question, the question of space of being able to compromise with someone's previous intentions and motives. Because whatever you're going to find out, you're not going to like it about this particular um, situation when it comes to inheritance. But whatever it is that you're going to find out is meant for you to find out this particular situation. How Because it, it's like it's faded. It's faded, but this is going to be a test of forgiveness on your end. And it's also going to give you a whole, it's going to shed a whole new life on a particular situation that may involve um, a current family situation with yourself and a child's father or yourself and a child's mother. Okay. But I do feel someone's character is going to be questioned during this time. And the decision is going to be in your hands to forgive it and lead by example of unconditional love. I ain't saying you ain't got, you got to fuck with them the same. But you forgive them, okay? But continuously receive. Don't block your blessings, baby. Forgive them in order to continuously receive. The next message I got you guys was take your power back, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Only focus on what it is that you want. Only focusing on what it is that you're trying to build. All that other bullshit, it ain't, it's for the birds. All right? Instead of responding back to negativity, there's power in silence. Fuck all this shit. All right? Fuck all this shit. Is it going to benefit me in any, sector, any sectors of my finances, my faith, my growth, my works, the seeds that I've planted that are coming back to me, baby? It's harvest time. No. So if the answer to that is no, two tears in a bucket, finish my sentence. Bucket. You got it. Oh, Y'all psychic and shit. Let's get it. So with this, I also feel some of you all may be traveling to somewhere where there's waters. Some of you all also may be wanting to move. I do feel there's going to be positive news about that. Some of y'all want to get into real estate, and I actually see it being a very prosperous move. Others of you are wanting to. Some y'all also may. Some y'all also may be gardening, or there may be some type of download that you receive while outdoors doing some type of planting, gardening. You could even be working out near flowers and shit. All is blue. I do feel this is a time of healing for you all. For some of you all, you're going to get to finally have a conversation that you've been wanting to possibly have for quite some time with an individual. This could be some type of male figure. This could be your father or your child's father. But I do feel that it's tied to letting up, like some type of childhood wound that is finally going to be released by you taking your power back in a situation that you were once codependent in or on. With this truth being spoken, it's finally going to be the, the cutting of a cord to some type of cycle that's going to move you to a space of blessings, baby. And the test is you being able to release it, but also not only release it, but release it from a mental, spiritual, as well as emotional space to be able to walk away empowered, but not from a space of ego, but from a space of worth. Some of you all are feeling as if you got to dumb yourself down and make somebody else happy. And it's getting real uncomfortable. And Spirit is saying, remember who you are. Take your power back. It's bringing you to this space of prosperity, which gets me to the next message. Beloved one. <clears throat> Archangel Chamuel. I'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Some of y'all, you got to be able to sacrificial gains. Baby. You got to be able to release something that is unhealthy, that you know is unhealthy, that you feel is unhealthy, that you can't sleep because it's unhealthy. Feel like something's standing on your back when you sleep because you got to forgive and let it go and not be afraid of letting go of a situation because you live in this space of maybe I won't be able to find another situation or maybe I won't be able to have that. Well, listen here, peace and time is currency and peace you, time or peace can you go buy on the damn shelf. So that shit is real motherfucking expensive. Nor can you get it back. You can't get no refund on that. So you have to take the lessons. And have faith. In the coming blessings. Because everybody not meant to eat at your table baby. Some of you all could also be having. Um, some of y'all could be dreaming of a mother figure. If you lost your mother or a grandmother. I definitely feel like a strong um, angelic or strong ancestral energy for you all during this time. And I definitely feel like this person is your wayward. This person, this is your wayward forward. Your wayward forward. Your answer key, okay? I definitely feel like some of you all, this person is also assisting you in breaking some type of family 
family cycle when it comes to the women and not empowering themselves or not actually. Some of y'all also have a legacy to leave when it comes to your spiritual gifts or your abilities. Maybe you were taught or brought up in some type of religious institution that made you feel as if it was wrong to be gifted. But a lot of you all are embracing that during this time. You're getting in tune with it. And I definitely feel like it's empowering you all to move forward and trust your dreams, trust yourself more, and not need outside validation from other people. Some of y'all are starting new relationships, and they look to be very abundant, but you need them to trust in the things that you can't see. And this is going to be bringing some type of triggers for some of you all because I definitely feel like it triggers for one, it's showing you your ability to manifest by you focusing on what it is that you only what you want. Fuck all of the hurdles and the, that, that comes with anything that you have. With. But you have to believe and only see your vision. People, when sight and vision are two different things, and spirit is needing you to use your gift of vision. People are killed behind a damn vision. Nelson Mandela, Nipsey, shit. Trust your vision. Okay, <clears throat> so the zodiac signs you guys got, are we already 16 minutes up in this talk? Shit. Zodiac signs we got you guys with Scorpio, <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, so we're going to clarify this a little, just a little bit. Right, so if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I definitely feel like this is, some of y'all, this could be a past life relationship, okay? For some of you all, I definitely feel abundance around the relationship with some, a sense of infinite. Some of y'all, this could actually be some type of twin flame part, twin flame union, okay? I do feel that this person is simply a mirror of yourself, but I feel like the aspect of what was once mystery. So if this person was having hard, having a hard time with opening up, you finna get what you've been wanting from this person, and that's you actually Hmm. An equal give and take. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who have a fear of vulnerability. Or a fear of opening up to someone and, you know, they then walking away and leaving them with this space of nothingness or this fear to be triggered again. Because it's something that they really haven't healed from, okay? For others of you, you manifested this person into your life. And you're going to have to move away from your fears. This person, you also have to make a decision to move away from your past. Because whoever this person is, they're not with the third party shit. This person could also be telling you that they're moving away from their past to manifest something with you. Right, so if you're dealing with the sign of Gemini, some of y'all, you could have children with this person. You could, there, yeah. For some of you all, this relationship has been tested in the past if you're dealing with Gemini, but I definitely feel like this person wants to move forward and expand with you, okay? I definitely feel the sense of a renewal around a relationship with the Gemini. Some of you guys could be ending a relationship with the Gemini due to the fact of some type of interference, um, possibly involving another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I definitely feel like this person, this person was meant to bring a sense of expansion and a lesson to your life when it comes to the things that you allow. For some of you all, you could have had a sexual relationship with this person in the past, but now this person is letting you know that they actually want to build something with you. But there's this fear around, hmm, with this Gemini, I feel the sense of a power struggle and ego. Like someone is, someone feels that the other person is very controlling, but the other person feels that if I don't be controlling, your ass can't think by your damn self. But there's a need for you guys to find some sense of compromise. I do feel that the relationship can grow, but I feel like it was it was made on not such. How can I put it? Some of y'all may feel as if, as, if, uh, as if a relationship is moving too fast. You could have met a Gemini in Leo season that you had a sexual connection with. Now this person's letting you know, hey, I want to be or I want to go something with you. And you don't know. You don't know about it. And I feel like it has to do with ego. This per One person expects for another. Yeah. For some of y'all, this Gemini wants to come back and fix it. And I feel like it's going to catch you off guard. And this person expresses themselves sexually, whoever this Gemini is. I feel like you expected this person to communicate. But this person feel like when they was laying that pipe or they was busting them cookies open, they was communicating and telling you, I love you, girl. I love you, man. I love you, Zaddy. <laughs> okay. Some of you, um, if you're dealing with the sign of Libra, okay, some of you all could also be get, receiving some type of information or uh, like I'm, I'm getting the energy of a missing piece, okay? 
Some of y'all could also be in love with the Libra. Some of y'all could also be, well, some of y'all could be expressing that you're in love with the Libra. Yeah. Some of you guys could also be communicating. Oh, this person could be communicating during this time. I want to lock you down. Okay. Others of you. Hmm. Some of y'all, this could be, <clears throat> I heard Virgo rising, so you could have a Virgo rising. Some of you all could be married to the sign of Libra. And I feel like where you could have been going through some type of divorce or some type of separation, this person is wanting to keep things together. They want to be, they want to come back together and renew love. And I feel like this is beautiful energy. I also feel like this relationship was really, really, really tested by the external by someone's either mother or father or child's mother or father. I definitely feel like there could be some type of news around legalities if you're dealing with the sign of Libra. But I feel like if this person haven't expressed that they will be later on in the month of September that they really want to renew. This, per this person is probably giving you a hard time because this person has, um, like this person has been hurt a lot. They have an issue with expressing their love. I also heard friends. Some of y'all could have a Libra friend that you're going to possibly hear that you, you really love this person, but some of y'all going to have a different perception of this person. Um, I feel like you're going to share some type of good news. You could have shared some good news with this person. This person gave you a dry ass response due to their own, um, dry ass circumstances. And I feel like some of you guys could be moving away from this person after this is revealed or after you see this person in a new light. It's gonna resonate with somebody. That's weird. Okay, I also got Sagittarius. Okay, so for some of you all, you could be making a uh, making a decision to either go at it one more time with the Sagittarius, I feel, or to complete a cycle all together with this person. For some of you all, you could definitely have children with this person, but I feel like you're ready to wrap up some type of cycle that could be a bit karmic. Um, I do feel that there could have been some type of hearsay. Some of you all, this, yeah, some of y'all, this person is going to communicate, hey, you the one I want and I want to move things forward. And I feel like you'll be in your head about it because in the past, this person wasn't very noncommittal. Some of you all, there could also be things or things moving forward when it comes to dealing with legalities uh, around children with the Sagittarius, okay? For some of you all, you could kind of be in your head during this time. Some of y'all could be completing the cycle with this person because you find out this person in the midst of some type of break or split that, split that you had. This person could have had some type of outside child that they've been hiding. And I feel like through the reality, some of y'all can find this out about that Sagittarius. It's going to be like the straw that broke the camel's back. In order for you to move on to something new. Because you got somewhere to be for some of y'all, Virgo. Right? Some of you all, that you could be, yeah, some of y'all, this person could actually be coming back to fix things. Especially if you're a single parent, y'all, with that Sagittarius. Some of y'all, this person is wanting to come back and make some type of compromise or assist you in co-parenting with your children. Especially if they haven't been there in quite some time. For some of y'all, it's been seven months. Some of y'all have been seven years. But someone has had a change of heart and they want to do the right thing. Okay? Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. I feel like there's some type of new energy with an Aries or a new offer that you have to move forward with an Aries. And it looks to be abundant, y'all. Okay? I definitely feel like some of y'all could be finding out that, you, that you're pregnant by an Aries. Okay? Others of you, this could actually be some type of new start, a new life, a new offer that looks beautiful. It looks solid here. I feel like this person came to help you heal. I do feel that some of you all, this person could have resisted a relationship in the past because they were healing. But now they're ready to start something new. This person. I feel could also be moving. Some of y'all could you could meet this person while traveling. I do feel that either you or this other person is going to be a bit resistant to the connection at first, but it looks to be beautiful. I do feel this person could actually be in the space of resistance because they're ending cycles due to the fact that they're ending cycles where there where, where there wasn't any type of like equal give and take. So this person could have slight trust issues or you them. I do feel that with it actually starting off with the damn four swords, the king of pentacles, and the damn sun card, some of you guys could definitely uh, be careful if you having sex with a new Aries that you met on vacation. Because some of y'all could be finding out if the person is pregnant or you're pregnant after vacation, okay? I do feel it's divinely guided because for some of y'all, this is your person. But I do feel that it's just stubborn as you, okay? So let's get it. Let's get it. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos in love for the month of whoa, September. Y'all, I have to return this damn dress back. 
hate making phone calls and sitting on the damn customer service department line because they going to be having me feeling some type of way. The music gets on my nerves. I got slight ADD on the low. And I just be like, uh-uh, I ain't got time for that. Then I got to get my son. He's going to get up in there and get in my damn car talking about, Mama, let me tell you about what these kids did today. Like, what? Ain't you a kid, too? I will be tired of his shit. Listen. <laughs> it's very different. Show me. Uh, show me what it is. Show me what it is. Show me what it is. To expect for the month of September and love. Show me. Show me. Virgo. Oh. Damn, my boy feel like she's beating the hell out of my head. I know y'all. I'm so rich. I ain't, I don't try to be <laughs> heavy handed. Some of you guys over our energies at Hiram, yes, some of y'all gonna get that damn commitment that you've been waiting for, possibly with a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Taurus. For some of you all, yeah. Some of you guys could intuitively feel that someone's coming. This person could, yeah. Some uh, pause. Because I got three different scenarios here, so let me slow it down. Some of you all during this time could actually be you could have been manifesting the truth out of a situation. If you you could be dealing with the sign of Taurus or Capricorn, okay? For some of you all, within a commitment there has been some type of negative energy as far as outside parties and shit. This person could have unhealthy addictions. For some of you all, this could be codependency. For some of you all, this person could be controlling as hell. For others of you, this could have to do with the Sagittarius, okay? I do feel that you've been patiently waiting for somebody to get their shit together, but now an opportunity has presented itself that you have been trying to manifest for quite some time. And I feel like this person who you're dealing with, this person could also be very intuitive as, well, intuitive as well. You and this person could also have a telepathic connection. And I do feel that some of you all, you needed to free yourself from some type of commitment or relationship or toxic, toxic partnership. Um, and I feel like you're patiently waiting for either someone to release themselves. Some of y'all waiting on somebody to fuck up and, and, and allow you to pretty much like fuck themselves out of the opportunity to get you out of this situation. So some of y'all just don't want to be the bad guy, okay? For some of you all, uh, there's a conversation that needed to be had as far as letting go of somebody, as far as you setting boundaries for somebody to let go of this damn unhealthy ass behavior, okay? Some of you all, if you're dealing with the sign of Sagittarius, I feel like some of you all may feel that that connection is unhealthy. And I feel like you really want solid partnership, okay? You want solid commitments. And I do feel some of y'all may receive some type of communication. This person may even be coming forth and talking to you, yeah. Some of y'all, if you, if this person, some, if you, okay. Some of you guys have to choose between possibly a Sagittarius and a Capricorn or either one of those signs have you as an option, uh, possibly with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could even be fire. I feel that someone is in the midst of making a decision. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel like this person needs to make a damn decision on how they want to move, move things forward. I feel that someone is giving little because they really haven't figured out where the hell they want to be. Somebody is still not over a situation from their past, okay? I do feel that, yeah, someone wants to offer something to their yeah, Some of y'all could be finding out that someone wants to offer something to their past first before they move things forward to see if they still have a chance, possibly with an Aries person who could have rejected them, okay? Or possibly with the water sign person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who they have children with, okay? Who could have rejected them? I do feel that for some of you all, if you're dealing with the sign of Aries, Spirit is saying, um, with this person, I feel like you guys could have gone through issues in the past with motherfuckers juggling, tip for tat ass behavior, somebody making a decision not to make a decision due to the fact that they had turned to codependency issues versus having open, clear communication. I feel that you guys are internally holding a whole damn lot. It's like you guys are wanting to make moves or wanting to see if a situation will work so that you will know that you did everything that you could before you bust a move. Because I feel that with this momentum here, when you do bust a move, you out like you 
you never knew this motherfucker, okay? I do feel, for some of you all, this is required for you to move. Some of you all also may be receiving some type of positive news about a position, a job, even a new business that you were trying to start. And it may require for you to take a leap of faith in trusting another person to be able to delegate the responsibility to instead of trying to control every damn thing and being complained about you got everything on your back. Y'all, it's crazy with that. You know that? For some of you all, someone who you have a child with, this could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. This could also be an Aries Leo Sag or a Capricorn. I do feel that someone wants to renew a connection that you have children with. I feel like this person has been very petty in the past, which put a whole lot of unnecessary ass monkeys on your back. If this person wants to come in and help you fix because they've been stalking your ass to know that you got the monkeys on your back, what you going to do? Yeah, some of you guys are only holding on to a situation or someone's holding on to you. Uh, some of y'all got a new a new partnership possibly with the sign of cancer. Aries is here. For some of y'all it's the Leo. For some of y'all it's a renewal with the Sagittarius. For others of you, but some of y'all are holding on to a toxic ass Taurus, Capricorn, um, an indecisive ass Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Don't know what the hell they want to do. If they want to put, put it together one day or if this person want to move on the next day, but then they don't move. They sit their ass still and hold all this weight but complain about it to you and how they unhappy and shit. And you just trying to love. So some of you all have a whole new there's a transformative energy around your love life, your abundance, the way that you receive and give communication. But you have to be responsible for the energy that you keep in your damn life, Virgo. I feel that for some of you all, you have a Gemini Scorpio person who wants to reach out. A Gemini or Scorpio or Aries person who Spirit is trying to bless you with, okay? But some of y'all could be a Pisces or a Cancer. But I feel like... Yeah, someone wants to transform a situation where they didn't open up in the past. Now that Virgo got options for some of you all who are single, now Virgo got options. Now they want to act right. So somebody got left and they want to get right or this is going to be happening. For some of you all, I feel as if you've never put your damn foot down. You stay in this damn indecisive energy having hope. And because you've had that hope and you have stayed positive within self, for some of you all, you manifested something better for some of y'all. And now somebody want to get right, so you needed to make a decision between two people. Some of you guys are dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and I feel like this person has become a burden, but it's, it's, it's hard to move on from this person because you have children with them. For some of you all, you're kind of feeling a bit guilty because maybe this person could have been um, like a sole provider in the past. And some of you all have an opportunity to transform your life, and you just... Finally choosing to focus on yourself for some of you all. Some of you all, I see you going into this, into October, into Libra season with this indecisive energy. Like, you know what you need to do. And things are not growing the way that you want them to grow. Because for some of y'all, you need to release a situation that is not meant to align with your prosperous times. And I feel that for some of y'all, let me break this shit down in elements real quick. We already 33 damn minutes, but it's your birthday, so let's do it, okay? We're going to start with water. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so I definitely feel like some of y'all are receiving involuntary changes in your life, and I feel that you're in this space of being uncomfortable or trying to control the situation that's not meant to be controlled because it's actually happening for your greater good in the long run. Okay, for some of you all, yes, some of y'all, this is a past life hurdle too. Some of you all could actually be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel that this person feels, either you or the other person feels as if the other person doesn't see you. It's if they see everything and everybody else in their world except for you, okay? I do feel that for some of you all, you are you are the blessing into this person's, you are the blessing in this person's life, and you're the blessing that Spirit is trying to bless them with. But both of y'all mirror each other in that aspect of that fear of rejection. So I feel like someone is really not opening up and is making the other person feel as if they're doing something wrong or they have less than or as if this other person has other options. But I feel like this person may be sitting on options that they have, but but to be honest with you, if, they, if his ass on them, they tell them options to kiss their ass, I feel. Because I feel like for some of y'all, I hear they don't want to mess it up. So they just keep their distance while they deal with some of the things that they have to deal with. For some of y'all, this person is dealing with addictions. Okay, I'm going to tell you that right now. I do feel that this person loves you and I do feel that you are going to get some type of opening up from this person. But I feel like what you think it is or what you thought it was when this person actually opens up, you're going to find out that it's not what it was at all. Which helps you to understand where you need to do some work at in your own damn perception, okay? 
Some of y'all, this could totally be the other person. I do feel that this is past life related. This For some of y'all, this could actually be someone from your past who made you feel this way. Now this person, because you had had hope in trying to manifest that now this person is coming back. And I feel like you're getting everything that you want, which is love, unconditional love from this person. This person is not ready to give you this. Kind of like a butterfly in a cocoon, baby. You can't rush it or you're going to kill the motherfucker. You cut the damn cocoon. Right. So if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see. It wasn't a lot of air. So let me know you guys not doing a whole lot of talking, but a whole lot of analyzing, planning, and plotting, and strategizing, baby. All right. So if you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like this person, okay, this person I feel is in this space of indecisiveness. I feel that they're indecisive on if they want to move forward in a relationship and really build. I feel that if you're dealing with an air sign, you and this person really don't trust each other. This person or you feels as if they won't be safe in moving forward, I feel. I feel like it's not communicated in that way. I feel like someone uh, just really doesn't talk much, but you can kind of feel the energy. It's just like, I feel like this is dry ass energy, okay? For some of you all, you could be married to this person and this married to, or in, in, in some type of commitment with this person. And you and this person could kind of be indecisive on where you want to move, okay? I feel like this person got a hard time making a damn decision and it's frustrating for you. And I feel like you're going to have to, you, maybe you need to speak up for yourself and set boundaries and tell this person that you need them to share their responsibility for you because it's stressful. It puts you in this space of having all of this shit to do, feeling so damn tired or exhausted as if you can't do it or the sense of like conflict, internal conflict. I mean, you can release it and just say, fuck it, like not release the whole situation, but release the fucks around it to free yourself from this space. If this is you, Virgo, around about a situation or a person, some of y'all feel like changes are coming to us, uh, coming to a union with dealing with a Gemini Libra for Aquarius because I did have the five of swords too. So I do feel like, yeah, some of y'all are cutting that shit. Listen, I'm going to help, I'm going to make the decision to move forward because I got this new, new I got to get to. Okay. So I'm going, I'm going to clarify the major arcana, y'all. Earth, Capricorn towards Virgo. Oh, it's a whole lot of that shit. Capricorn towards Virgo. Have any more pinnacles? Yep. This could be you again or the other person. You got to take it high resonate. Yes. I put it in the water. Okay. Some of you all, you could be dealing with an earth sign person that needs to make a damn decision on if they're going to choose either another earth sign or a water sign. It could be juggling yourself in another water sign. For some of you all, you're dealing with the sign of Capricorn. I feel like this person could possibly use work as a way to uh, really not really deal with their emotions, even though there could be issues around home and how much this person is giving. Okay, I do feel like. This person could just solely be focused on money and one of you guys are focused on building, focused on actually uh, com like being in a commitment, being in some type of traditional family setting. And I feel like this person, some of y'all look at this person as being very childish. Some of you guys could also be juggling. Some of you guys could also be holding your feelings about feeling as if you have to be the, the one who's primarily responsible. Or this person continuously comes to you because this person lacks some type of I feel like with whoever you're dealing with, this person could have a mother as well that just constantly intervenes in your relationship. And I feel like you've been holding this, but Spirit is saying, let this go. Express yourself, okay? Some of you guys are having a hard time making a decision on if you're going to continuously give to a situation where you have children with this person or if you're going to focus on work and building your own abundance to possibly start a business. Some of you all have been sacrificing. You feel as if you've been sacrificing your time or your money for quite some time. When you have dreams you want to build, you want to invest. And some of y'all are making a damn a sacrificial decision. I understand I want to give to the aspect of co-parenting. But as far as me building, as far as the relationship, and you can't really add anything to build on to that. But you got all these plans and all this shit here that I'm going to have to ultimately be responsible for. I don't know if I really want to, you know, you make me feel as if I'm going to find safety in the side piece. And let me, I, I, this is what I'm, this is what I'm feeling, y'all. Okay? Y'all let me know. Right? Some of y'all could also find out that this person is giving, um, 
outside money to someone. Some of y'all could have found out this person could have paid for some type of abortion. Hey, listen, I work for spirit. Not the ego. Get the damn reading. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> You're dealing with fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you was dealing with a non-committal energy at first. This person could have to, yeah, this person could have had to choose between yourself um, and a fire sign. Some of y'all need to choose between two fire signs. You're going to be making a damn decision to release somebody, and I feel like it's going to hurt. But the person who you choose to release, I feel like it's someone who you could have had, went through the, like the, the ups and downs of this person with being indecisive on where the hell they want to be. And some of y'all in moving forth, you're going to get that damn monkey off your back and then you run into this new. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Leo, okay? Or someone new. Some of you all are choosing to release some type of burdens around a situation uh, involving a fire sign. And some of you guys, um, so some of y'all are waiting on some type of communication. This person is finally making the decision to come forward and communicate how they feel. And some of y'all, this person, I feel like pride was a prevention in the past, but going forward, this person is going to be opening up and expressing themselves, okay? Don't fall victim to that D, though, right? Should keep your panties D fuck on your waist, okay? So that way you don't fall victim to that D. Have serious conversations first. And then do you, because it's your birthday. Anywho, let's go. So let's clarify this higher thing. Why is the Hierophant card here? For my Virgos. Why is the Hierophant card here? For the month of September for my Virgos. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant? Yes, some of you guys are choosing to possibly. Uh, some of you guys could actually be receiving some type of communication regarding commitment. Someone is wanting to take the relationship to the next level. They want kids and shit, boo. They want commitment and shit, boo. And I feel like you've been patiently waiting for this. I feel like you didn't work your ass off to get to this person to actually open up and march to the tune of your drum. So say thank you. Damn it, you manifested this now because you said what you said, right? Some of you guys could also be cutting off a goddamn tourist. You're done. Or some of y'all just could actually have to do with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're just not over. You're over it. You're like, no, I, I just can't do it. I want commitment. I can't do the indecisive ass energy. I'm just going to choose to trust in the unknown. Take that leap of faith and release this toxic shit. And some of y'all going to run right into a Cancer, a Gemini, a Sag, an Aries, a Scorpio, or a Leo. Okay? In that movement forward. Okay? Some of you guys are indecisive about a movement forward. Okay? Some of you guys just have to do with releasing a damn job that you feel gets on your last nerves and really affects you mentally for some of you all you be mentally exhausted and I feel like you've been in this space of being able to give everybody else the answers but don't know for your damn self that some of y'all are taking a leap of faith to invest in yourself like you do everybody else good shit some of you guys could be um, jumping into the unknown possibly with the, with the Aries person here with this free card why is the devil here? Why is the devil here for my vertigos? Yeah, okay, so some of you guys could have been attached to a Capricorn. I definitely feel like two cards fell out with this, so they had some shit to say, honey. This person wants to work it out. They want to uh, start over. They want to renew, okay? I do feel for some of you all, this person wants to, yeah. For some of y'all, this has to do with maybe this person didn't help a whole lot in the past. And for some of y'all, this person see your damn glow and now they don't in. They're like, who the hell you think you is going to go be happy and showing me that you was right with the fact that you don't need my ass. And so now this person is wanting to come in. They want to be in now where their asses wouldn't break in the past. Okay. So some of you guys could also be, yes. Being victorious, moving forward with the cancer. Okay, some of y'all just have to do with the vehicle. There could be positive news about a vehicle during this time, or receiving a vehicle, or getting help with the car, or being approved for a vehicle. Some of you guys just could also have to do with um with the actual move, that lease, that that uh that housing application, or whatever it is that you was waiting on. This person, I'm mean, about to say this person. For some of you, for some of y'all, if you was waiting on, you needed, if you were staying with family or something, some of you guys could be meeting someone. You may feel that things are moving a bit too fast, but this person came in to assist you with bringing that balance back into your world. Okay. For some of you all. Yeah, some of you all, you're questioning with the strength card being here in the seven of clubs to clarify. Some of y'all are questioning if you want to keep investing in a relationship with the Leo or if you want to continue 
continue on and move on to something new. Because I feel like with this person, there's been deception and somebody got a hard time with letting shit go and moving on. I feel like every time there's an argument or I feel like or someone feels that they have to stay on the defense mode. And some of you guys could just be dealing with the fire sign in general. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and air sign or earth sign. But you feel as if you got to stay in the space of ready to defend yourself. Some of you guys, I feel that um, some of y'all, I'm going to be real with you. What's been keeping this damn hold up with some of y'all is the fact that the person who you're dealing with could be a goddamn magician who put a bind and spill on your ass. I'm going to keep it moving. Spirit of confusion, baby. Cleanse, baby. Protect your energy. Yeah. Damn, I, I love it when I say shit and shit just fall. Some of y'all could be dealing, you cutting out the damn magician, okay? Some of y'all, the damn Gemini, Scorpio, and Aries wants to compromise because they want to listen. They want to get right because you said your, your ass was going to get left. They want to get right. They want to transform a situation, okay? Someone wants a second chance, and I feel like they feel like you don't trust it, but this person is wanting to show you, okay? Some of y'all dealing with a Leo that's finally going to open up and say, you the one girl, you the one girl, you the one Zeddy, you the one Zeddy, all right? Why is the temperance card here? Why is the temperance card here? Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Pisces. You don't know if you want to keep investing in the situation. But I definitely feel like if both... I feel like this is a tit for tat ass situation. Some of y'all just could also be involved in a Sagittarius. A tit for tat ass situation where someone was... Where someone was resisting, they were only resisting because they wanted to do what the hell they wanted to do. Now this person is moving to a space where they feel as if they're getting a bit older and they want to build things. They want to grow. They want to reconcile and show you that they could be their best self, okay? Because I feel like for one, some of y'all, you question me. Well, some of y'all, you buck this person's game of manipulation because they felt as if you needed them. And you was the wild part that showed this motherfucker, listen, mm -hmm. I don't need your ass. Somebody got to get left to get right. Yeah, so now this person's wanted to come in and offer love. They want to fix things, okay? And I feel like it's in a space where you got an opportunity for new love. So either way, you're going to lead a new love or you're going to lead this other person feeling, oh, fuck, I fucked up. I didn't see them cups and what they could be. Some of you all, this is a renewal. Somebody somebody see them damn cups now. They picked their head up and turned their ass around and seen them cups, which is taking things into a new cycle. But I definitely feel that Virgo, you want to take your time. And I definitely, yeah, take your time and make sure this situation is going to be uh, or offer it equal give and take this time. And you know that by not trying to control the situation, but building and speaking on the things that you have an issue with to create the flow that you desire. Okay, so I love you all, and I pray that this resonates. You guys, comment, let me know, and I will see you guys for the mid month of September. Bye, babies.